Uh, we're going to be in that territory. I mean, that will be a hugely gutsy move. We've sung the praises of Black's position, but things could just as easily turn back around. And I don't think any of us should blame Jan for, uh, for choosing this move. And the game is going still. Vidit now has to decide on knight takes c4. Um, rook b3 check, king takes a4, rook takes c3. We'll force an exchange of rooks. And I would still be scared in that position with white because Black's king could easily infiltrate uh, with the right pawn breakthrough. Like if Black plays e4, you could lose your kingside pawns. There's still some meat on the bone. So maybe Vita doesn't take the c4 pawn at all and just drops his bishop back to g1. In that case, um, you know, He's we're still going to get a very he exciting position. Pawn. Oh, yep. he takes the e4 pawn. A4 pawn. Oh, wow, okay. the rook is hanging. I forgot that pawn was hanging, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I thought you had a cunning tactic up your sleeve, uh, Daniel. I thought, oh, rook b2 pieces are hanging or something like that. But it looks Where like you can get away go? with it. And... It is calculated oh, in Yan's time. No longer it feels like turns that. out game. And it just felt like you have to do something with that bishop on e3, but again, loose pieces and full board awareness here by Vidit. King takes pawn, the rook is hanging. You're mentioning a really active move, getting the rook to the second rank, also tying down that knight on d2, but that does allow white to capture the pawn on c4. He falls back with the rook. Does Vidit mm -hmm. need to be careful with that king on a4? Are there any checkmating ideas in the position? Yes. <laughs> but, Knight takes uh, e4, e4 would terrify me. Black's king is just on a, uh, just on a mission to join uh, wow. its its friends on d5 and b8. I would be very very scared. I think it's sort of almost a positional sack by Jan, and he. I missed king takes a4 completely. I'm going to be honest. I was too engrossed with knight takes c4. Um, Jan took some time on rook b8, but there's no way that this wasn't on his radar. Super impressive. Either way, Jan, this positional pawn sacrifice, actually giving two pawns away, a4 and c4, and just trying to activate his pieces. And we're going to see this line. Um, Daniel, you said you were terrified here. The Black King is going to join the Rook, the Knight, everything in entering uh, White's camp and going for checkmate. Yeah, endgames. Yeah. They're not safe, even with uh, Kings out in the open like this, even with minimal material. This is crazy. Oh Anything gosh. could still happen. It's madness on the board. E4 played. It's clearly a line that Yan calculated all the way through. He's blitzed it out with two pawn sacrifices. This is super brave and super ambitious of him. But you guys need to break this down. What is happening in this position? Is white forced to trade on E4, allowing the black king to come in? I think we have to jump in. I think so. Yeah. I think we have to show this on the board. It's getting super complicated right now. Yes, the players are low on time, but... Uh, accuracy is key. Uh, you cannot allow Black's pawn to continue marching. It's a pass pawn, it's a runner. Uh, so you would want to exchange. Now, I think you need to move the bishop. Uh, simply, rookie one would minimum drop the c pawn. The Black King could also start marching in. So you have to move the bishop. I'm not sure which direction. I assume just somewhere F2, G1, far away as possible to not blunder. You can meet this with a knight check, but the king continues its march in, hitting oh the rook. God. How complicated is this? How is this equal? I mean, knight c6, rook a8 check. There's always this check that gets out of the line of fire. So this loses on the spot. That's actually an important detail. Um, and, okay, rook f1 simply. But come on. is there? There's no mate here. Knight takes c3. King a3, c4 is a gorgeous mating construction. So you have to go up <laughs> to a5. And then bishop d8 up to a6. And, you know, thanks to How this very simple line. And the game goes on. Rook b6. King a7, knight b5, king a8, and a perpetual check, knight c7, king a7. Yeah, okay. I think we know exactly how the game is going to end. Oh my gosh. This is all forced, at least for white. <laughs> for black, there's options. For That's white. actually unreal. Oh my gosh. You're literally walking a tightrope. The white king, it started at, what, b2, then went to up to a3, a4, a5, a6, a7, and survives on a8. I'm literally being hunted by three pieces, but it survives. Wow, good luck with it, finding this. This is crazy. Uh, he might have to. I don't see any other way. Those, if we those start police with- police chases on YouTube that you watch with a helicopter flying overhead. The guy just gets out, there's like 10 cops and he finds the one way out. <laughs> That's the perfect analogy, actually. Like, you're right. <laughs> I don't know how anyone survives this with white. Forget the eval bar, forget anything. Uh, vid it, three and a half minutes. Police chasing him. He needs to thread that path forward. 
nerves of steel required here. Just it's just about survival, move by move. I mean, we got there by accident, but uh, I mean, imagine with the nerves as well. It's so I don't even know the word unesthetic. Uh, just to put the White King on A8. It's so it's, ugly and counterintuitive, but it has to be done. Maybe a four here is also on his on his on his radar just to try to keep Black's King out of the equation. So that might be the reason he's thinking, but he has captured. Buckle oh in, my gosh. ladies and gentlemen. I I don't think I'll be able to sit still if this actually goes into that line. That would be absolutely insane. And for Wither to actually calculate all of that with minutes on the clock, because you have this feeling that your king is just getting checkmated on one of those squares along the A5. How are you even surviving that? It, as you said, I think nerves of steel is what Wither needs to enter that. The big question is, is that the only way for Wither to survive? Because to me, it just looked like an incredibly forcing sequence of moves. I mean, what else? The bishop is hit. You have to move it, I think. Is I'm it? I'm assuming though? at least. He reaches out. The He's about is, to make I, a move. I think King D3 is actually the threat. If you take twice mm -hmm. on E3, you get your bishop skewered. But who cares? King D3 is a huge threat. So you got to move does. your bishop anyway. Oh my gosh. Bishop F2 on the board. He does move it. And if black goes in with the king, that line looks <laughs> imminent. <laughs> It's How like... crazy would that be if we end with the perpetual on knight b5, knight c7? That would be insane. Wow. The chase is only beginning. You called it earlier, Tanya. You said it, Lord of the Kings. I mean, both kings are performing, <laughs> <laughs> performing miracles in this game. We're getting there. King d3 played. Is there another oh move? Oh my gosh. Bishop g3 maybe occurred to me. Maybe. But, but then you gave I don't check. see that. King b3 and prey. That's even scarier than the line we showed in the game with the king on a8, bishop g3. <laughs> but possible, right? Because Maybe. bishop g3, you hit the rook. And after rook a8, king b3, I'm not finding a big follow up for black there. But knight takes c3 goes into a bishop endgame and try evaluating that with two minutes left. Oh. There's a breakthrough on the king's so h5. White could win. I mean, geez. This is a. Uh... Classical chess is boring, yeah. <laughs> Show them this. Wow. Both players as well, rocking around in their chairs for a moment, readjusting their positions. They know that this is a sprint to the finish. Uh, not just the tournament closing stages. This game is dramatic enough. But I've got to say, amazing by Jan. I was slightly questioning his killer instinct after so many draws in a row, but to spot this, to go knight d5 and spot this uh, e4, king e4, king d3 idea, just incredible world-class so sophisticated and yeah this is why he's uh the king of the candidates the last few <laughs> times around just did it what's he gonna play he doesn't want to go into this line he doesn't want to he might have to he's been also walking on a tight drop a rope and with it finding all the key defenses so far he just has to stop himself from collapsing at this moment he's done everything right fifth hour of play such a difficult position both players bringing on full power right now yana pamnashi in driver's seat with it keeping it together but very often the collapse comes later on and he has to continue this form how difficult is this position to hold with white uh, well process of elimination he's gone bishop g3 and that actually might be the one way to avoid that police chase line because I'm trying to figure out this bishop endgame, and I actually think it's a draw. Knight takes c3 check in this position, leads to this forced liquidation. White's going to take the knight and then take the rook. Black is going to take the, the rook and then take the knight. And then in that position, white is also walking a tightrope because your pawns are stuck on dark squares, but I think Vidit has calculated it out to a draw. And knight takes c3 isn't even forced. I mean, maybe Jan moves his rook up, but in that version, I think knight e5 check is a much safer line. At least that's my intuitive take. And uh, Jan, he's got four minutes. He's going to invest at least a couple of them now because it's a critical moment. Maybe we very quickly jump in to try and predict just to show the options. Uh, it's a key moment if he wants to maintain his winning chances. Can we show knight takes c3? Can mm -hmm. we try and work out what Vidit has seen? Uh, this is a forcing line, a check. The white rook has to take. And uh, as Daniel mentioned, this is the result. I would be terrified the white king on the edge, but what is it? Bishop e4. Five, D5, King D5. Ooh, scary. And 
bishop somewhere. <laughs> Which way? <laughs> First of yep. all. Yep. Black goes back. King e6. Mm -hmm. And you might have to push h5 at some point. I don't know. King f5. Ooh, bishop. something like this is terrifying. Oh. Wow. Maybe hold well spotted, David. <laughs> I mean, there's other lines. There's also uh, King d3 to try and run the pawn, but um, I guess White's going to stop this somehow. Is there h5 now? Wow, there's so much to work out. Mm -hmm. um, King b3, King b2. This looks terrifying for White, but Jan has to weigh up his winning chances in that bishop endgame as black versus maybe moving the rook out the way. Uh, the rook is hit. A check, remember, and White's king survives. Actually, White would be turning things around with a check coming next. But um, yeah, what else? Rook b7, and uh, this one is super complicated. Oh, let's see the okay, let's see that good. car chase one last time. Now a different bishop car chase. Bishop d8 now. King a6, rook b6. Actually, same thing. So this is just a different <laughs> version of the same line. Wow. And Jan least... could refrain. I mean, Jan doesn't have to repeat here. He could go. I mean, at this point, also black is risking. But you could go like king e. No, king e2 blunders a rook. But oh, king e2 rook e1. Wow, look at this geometry. You gotta go back. Oh and my the, gosh. Uh, the criminal gets away. <laughs> wow. Tactics Do you think galore. Jan missed the move bishop g3? Because it, it's an easy miss in this position. You know, you're looking at all these ideas on the king, on the queen side, the king trap, c3 hanging. Bishop g3 was quite a find by Vidit. Easy to miss, but a great find by Vidit. At least forcing the opponent to think. It's one and a half minutes versus two minutes now. No longer and blitz. It's, uh, it's almost bullet now. Yeah. Jan looks frustrated. <laughs> oh. oh, man. Every All the other participants are in their hotel rooms, <laughs> you know, staring at their computer screens. Vita did play Title Tuesday yesterday, <laughs> and Knight takes C3 on the board. So we will get that Bishop endgame, but it ain't over yet. Guaranteed. How precise does Vita need to be there, David, to hold that pawn? Oof. I would say he's a bit lucky that most of his moves look forced. Um, we were holding it pretty much by process of elimination. Here, I'm surprised he's hesitating. He has to take this knight, I assume. <laughs> At this point, I uh, <laughs> I should stop assuming things. King a3, I don't know, but uh, he's oh my. going to take this knight, surely. I, I, my he nerves won't take it if he plays king a3 here. <laughs> or king a5. No way. Oh, surely not. Maybe there is. I mean, I don't see a clear move for black after king a3. I can't believe no. I'm saying this. Rook. <laughs> it's a move. He's, he's going to go for the bishop endgame. it will Rook. want to bail out right now. He wants a clear path ahead. White minute. could win there. Knight b2 and bishop f4 becomes a threat. Sorry to, to interrupt, David. Wow. It's, it's a tempting move, king a3. Nerves are still Vidit. OK, oh, he's under God. 20 seconds. He's got to decide. He's gonna take the rook. He's gonna take the rook. He has to take the rook. He's Holy oh, no! he lost to King A3. We've he's got a game on our win. hands. He's playing for a win, and maybe Black has a repetition. Yeah, Black has a repetition with Knight B1. But oh. <laughs> wow, Jesus! You were pointing out, Daniel, that Knight B2 in the current position. I'll put it on the board. King A3. Um, yeah, knight b2 but, is a massive what? threat. But rook b4 oh, wait. guards the f4 square. Whoa. Rook b4. I don't like this. I don't like this by Vidit. Mm -hmm. What should Yan do? Should he be professional? Should he play like knight b5 back to c3, but risk rook takes c3 happening? Does he want to repeat the position once to gain more time on the clock? Oh, I can't take jangling. this. Tanya, I can't take this. Oh my gosh. Gaining more time on the clock only helps with it right now, who's under a minute. I think King A3 again takes Jan by surprise because you're looking at these lines which just simplify the positions with seconds on the clock. That's what you want. But of course, these guys are like no other. With it keeps the game on. King A3 on the board. Jan goes in with the rook. Rook B4, the move you pointed out, keeping the key square F4 under control. So Knight B2, that's King D2. What do you do? What do you play? Knight e5, king d2, and black's going to go c4 and open up that batter, that that discovered mate against white's king. He's missed Whoa. it. Knight b2, a blunder, apparently. King goes forward. I think Vidit's simply forgotten that the black rook covers f4. 
Rook takes and... C3. Oh my god. Also gosh. loses. Also loses. You could win the Rook back, but that minor piece endgame is lost. Jan's winning. Oh, this He's going to take so the lead. Hard. Now it's checkmate all over the place. Jan can't believe his luck as they change score sheets. They've reached the magical move 60 where uh, the score sheet runs out. And sh surely now, is it C4? That's the move the hand wants to play. Push that pawn, unleash the black bishop. Checkmate threatened immediately. Rook B3 is a threat of mate. Rook anywhere Rook is a threat of mate. <laughs> Rook anywhere. Wow. C4. He's Why does the knight take c4, maybe staves off the mate, but not for long. You just take the knight and then go back to b4 and then deliver checkmate. Wow. Oh my gosh. Jan smells it. He smells the victory. Can't believe his okay, luck. C4, rook f2 maybe? Yeah, c4, rook f2 actually. Maybe keeps white alive for the time being. I wouldn't call mm. it just yet. With a minute left, it's much it's easier when board. you have the eval bar. <laughs> c4 played, and I think with it will realize it. How does he fight the checkmate now? Rook f2, I think. Keeps him in the game for now. Wow. Rook f2, 92, Whoa, is that Black the could get Black could get mated. Rook f2, king c1. Bishop f4, king b1. Rook f1, king c2, rook c1, mate. <laughs> this is... This can't be real. So you gotta go king e2, I think. The knobs uh, are king playing e3, in. Rather. King e3. Vidit has got 30 seconds to make his move, to make his decision, and Rook F2 played. Has Jan calculated this all the way through? Wow, what a turnaround it will be if Jan plays King C1 and gets mated <laughs> himself. Oh my gosh. Easy to miss, but uh, he needs to go the other way. I guess he can block with the knight, but you need the knight for checkmate, so you're reluctant to move that. Um, that looks pretty safe, actually, to my eyes, but king e3 must surely be the first temptation. Mm -hmm. mm. But but then knight takes c4 check, rook takes c4, king b3. He's blocked with the knight. Wow. Also winning, apparently. Too many too many threats, and if white gives that knight away, he might also drop the bishop to a fork. And the c-pawn's moving forward. There are threats of a discovered check. This is so reminiscent of the way Vidit lost to Jan in their earlier match, where everything's under control till a certain point, but then with incremental pressure, you just collapse at, uh, after playing 20 good moves, you eventually end up making a mistake because it's so difficult to keep going with that momentum, keep saving a difficult position. Mm -hmm. Such unluckiness here. King A3 was a clever move. He was being ambitious there, Vidit, rather than trying to bail out and... Struggling for a draw, but bishop e5. Ooh, the blue arrow appears. That's the computer suggestion. Apparently pawn to c3 is by far the best, but there's so many other tempting moves. The idea is that rook b5 check would not win due to king a4. And when the black rook takes the bishop on e5, there's knight takes c4 with a fork, a check. And Vidit would save his skin, but Jan finds the best move. Of course he does, pawn to c3. Breaking the connection between white's minor pieces. The white knight is trapped. Wow. This might be the oh end. God. Checkmate's coming. So many lines now. This is such a blow to with its chances. And for Jan, it just steps, steps him so much closer to glory. He will be the sole leader. Winning this one. Uh, bishop takes c3. Check, I should mention. There's king takes c3. Rook takes knight on e2 and rook e4 check oh. discover check and winning the white rook oh that's critical actually because you if you take the knight instead white takes the bishop it all and works he, out for jan but it's still fighting move with a second on the clock wow did it living life on the edge okay the, cp checking piece is attacked the black bishop wants to be the checker but you're calculating C2, CB. <sighs> Rook B7 would be a safe move, maybe, if you want to just get out the way, defend the bishop with a check. Would that be the professional no. approach? There's a pawn mate on uh, potentially Rook B7, King A2, Knight C1, King A1, Ooh. Rook A7, King B1, C2. I'm sorry to keep pointing out these outlandish mates that are never going to happen, but this one actually might. And this one actually is important to calculate. Oh, beautiful. 
Moves his rook. Step one. Check. Rook b7. Whew. Problem is, if you go back, rook takes b2 check also just wins a piece. Oh, yeah. Even if there is a checkmate available, he goes forward instead. Where's the winning blow? Do you just Not go c2? Push it? Yeah, who needs that knight? He does. Who needs Beautiful. the knight when you can get a queen? <sighs> Knight c4, oh king gosh. e1, and that knight on e2 dominates the bishop. Usually it's the other way around, but not this time. Crazy. This knight stops any checks from the white bishop. Jan's accuracy levels are just through the roof in this endgame. Just presented these difficult problems for Vidit to solve, and once Vidit went astray, Jan has been ruthless, merciless in pursuing the advantage, winning a piece, getting a queen about to win the game retake the lead outstanding endgame technique by Jan Nepomnishi throughout the candidates incredible he's about to get the double over Vidit Vidit under 10 seconds again gives a check the king actually goes the other way mm, safe away wins. hitting the knight going back to e4 he's won the, the king queen. of the hill game and the chess game yeah, he really is the lord of the kings <laughs> So knight b2 check, you can give another check, but the king just simply goes to e4, hitting that bishop and threatening the pawn uh, to queen. I just don't see a move here. And Vidit knows it. He's panicking. Mm -hmm. He's got seconds on the clock, but the clock doesn't help. He falls back with a check, but it's only a check. It's only delaying the inevitable for Vidit. King it's does the final reach move. the center. He shakes his head. He can't believe it. Oh my gosh. This is so that difficult is for Vidit. So hard to watch. You just fight for more than five hours. You keep yourself in the race. You've got a great position. You keep fighting. And then in the last moments, you know it's all over. And that's it. It's handshakes. Vidit Gujarati resigns. On one side, there's relief on Yana Pamnashi for Vidit, absolute despair.